12 financial actions to take before year end. This is from my year end checklist. I have an Excel list. I go through these. I look at them on October 1st. I have a notice on my calendar, October 1, go to this checklist, start moving on this. So uh, December, <laughs> December can be kind of busy. That's why I start October 1. Uh, did I miss one of yours? Okay, this is my list of 12, and I'm telling you, 12 is the most important. Almost nobody does this, but I consider it paramount to my retirement plan. So let's jump into this list. Number one, Roth conversions. Very important to me. Pay the estimated taxes on this. Um, you can do this anytime during the year. It's a good time to do well, nobody does it this way, but if the market drops by 30%, that's the best time to do it. You can convert more shares, but you have to have the cash to do it. So look for that dip. I use Bolden software. There's a link to free two weeks. Uh, you hit the link below. It's uh, prediction and taxes is light years ahead of anybody else. Um, I compare software all the time. Bolden tells me when to take and how much of a Roth conversion and the impact over my lifetime, what it is. So um, I do use Bolden to get the start and then I run it by my investment group to make sure I'm making sense. So let's jump into number two, tax lost harvesting, harvesting opportunity. This is for brokerage accounts only. Tax loss harvesting is a timely selling of securities at a loss to offset any capital gains you may have in another um, uh, investment. So uh, look up tax loss harvesting, harvesting if that's a, um, an opportunity for you just in brokerage accounts. Number three, I do an Indiana 529 account. That's a um, education savings account uh, for my grandkids. Uh, I opened it up when Everly was born. In Indiana, you get a 20% tax credit credit for setting that up. So you can uh, do that up to $7,500 and then you'll get $1,500 back. So I've been doing that um, since Everly's born this year. Uh, I did that. So number four is HSA, the health savings account contribution. Uh, reminder, you can use that for your Medicare premium. So when Medicare kicks in, all the supplements aren't free, <laughs> so you gotta pay that. Um, it's triple tax free. It's really a good um, account. Number five, review my annual subscriptions, uh, like a gym, streaming accounts. I just signed up for YouTube Premium, and I actually love that. It's expensive, $18, maybe $18.99. Um, but I like to, that's the time of year I look at all my streaming and I don't have a lot, don't have a gym, uh, got a couple streaming accounts, uh, but, uh, YouTube premium. Okay. Number six, I review my insurance coverage. Okay. Auto, home, life, and health. Just where am I at? What am I doing? Any changes? Number seven, any health procedures. If I've met the deductible or my wife has met her deductible for the year, are there any optional things that we can maybe pull into this year, uh, a procedure pulling it into this year if, it's, if the timing is a little bit flexible? Number eight, a giving review. Uh, I made an earlier video about how I decide how much money to give in retirement. I don't really have an income, so uh, what percentage of your income do you give when you're living off your investments? It kind of gets a little difficult. Um, and what I decided to do, here's the short version. I uh, give 10% of what we spend. So I just look at our expenses instead of the income. And then uh, that's our target. Um, so that, that's just what I do. So um, I need to learn a little bit more about donor advised funds and qualified charitable distributions. I need to learn more about those. But uh, right now we're just giving like we always have, but on expenses, not on income. Number nine, and this one doesn't apply to me, but it's a placeholder and I wanted to put it in there, is RMDs, Required Minimum Distributions. It's a placeholder for me in the future. You may be um, required to do that. I, I've, got a, I've got 15 years left. 
Number 10, um, and, and I'm big on reflection. You could tell I make YouTube videos, I'm big on reflection. What did I learn this year? Any lessons learned, okay? I've got three of them that I've documented. Uh, Long-term care is $10,000 a month needs to be thought about for this. I had 8,000 in there before my mom went into uh, a facility. Um, and that's in today's dollars. So 30 years from now, can uh, uh, inflation that up. Number two lessons learned is I simplified my bucket one. I was doing a lot of chasing of 0.1, 0.2% return and just kind of causing a lot more uh, paperwork and time in my life. And I just, I simplified it. I have my bucket one in about three places now. Just more simplification is what uh, kind of my bucket one theme was for this year. And the third thing is I moved from three buckets to two. I've got a lot of videos on that um, with um, fixed assets paying, you know, four and a half, five percent. Um, I really only have two buckets. Before, bucket one was earning no money. I mean, 0.1%. So I had some fixed bucket one money that was earning next to nothing. And then I had a 60-40 account, 60% 60 equities. 40% uh, bond kind of money in my bucket two and then all equities in bucket three. Well, with the increase in rates over the last couple of years, I just really decided I got equities and I got fixed, okay? I don't have that 60-40 either. Simplifies things a lot, but I'm glad I did what I did when, when the uh, uh, fixed assets were paying almost nothing. It, it really worked out to my favor. So my uh, 11th action on my end of the year list is did what learning goals do I have for this coming year? These are important but not urgent. I want to understand trust more. T-R-U-S-T-S. I don't know how those work and is that an advantage to me or not. Uh, based on my mom going into a long-term care facility, um, I'm going to talk to an elder attorney and see what I learned from that. I have power of attorney for my mom, uh, so I'm going to be doing that anyway. Uh, number three, uh, this is under the giving uh, headline, is uh, what are donor-advised funds, qualifiable, qualified charitable distributions? I think you have to be over 70 and a half for those. Uh, and then the fourth one is uh, giving appreciated shares from a brokerage account. I don't do any of those giving things that are tax advantage, so I need to understand those a little bit more. So that's my um, learning goals for 2025. And the last thing, and I know everybody rolls their eyes at this, but this is one of the most powerful and impactful things that I do for myself. I think it'll be that same way for you. Review the results of the year with someone, okay? I use my retirement group. I have two other individuals intimate sharing with what they know where my money's at, they know what I'm spending, they know uh, what I'm, all the moves that I'm planning on making like a Roth conversion, I run it by this group. I have a provided uh, certified financial planner uh, based on where my assets are. Um, so I've got access to, you know, like a 75% certified financial planner. Um, and I, his name's Neil, his contact information is below if you're interested in contacting him at all, but I run things by him. Um, and now some people have a, once a year, they don't want to pay a full assets under management. So they may have a fixed fee of paying somebody, you know, um, a few thousand dollars to set up their plan. You know, maybe $3,500, you know, to set up a plan, $4,000. And then every year for maybe 1000 you can have that updated and ask them questions. Uh, I think that makes sense. Um, you can talk to the folks at Money Pickle. I got my, I think it's the third link below. It's a free call. Call these folks at Money Pickle. Uh, this is your phone a friend. Um, no charge at all. And, you know, you can say, hey, I'm planning on doing this Roth conversion. I, before I made it, I wanted to talk to somebody and say, does, this, does it make sense at all for me to max out the 22% bracket? Here's, here's where my money's at. Here's what I project for my um, 
RMDs? Does this make any sense at all? Before I pull the trigger, I wanted to talk to a professional. Also, you may call them and say, I'm getting ready to take Social Security in, you know, in 2025 in February. Uh, does it make sense at all? I wanted to talk to, in my Excel spreadsheets. It makes sense. I wanted to talk to somebody before I pulled that uh, lever. I think it's a huge mistake to go it alone. My superpower in retirement is I rely on other people as a sounding board and to give me critique of my actions. Um, last thing I want to say is, boy, I'm just days away. The new date uh, was given to me uh, for a certified financial planner to review your plan for about $350 is where I think we're going to end up. Um, I think it's going to be around Friday of this week. I hopefully can announce that. Uh, it will be a link in every one of my videos going forward. So if you missed the, the day of the announcement, uh, uh, it'll be there. But I'm a little worried about uh, volume. Um, I'm worried about two things. Them getting too much business and this, I'm not being interested in this long time, long term because it's too much. Also them to say this, isn't really worth it to them. So uh, it's gonna be on a trial. We'll see how that goes. Uh, they're excited about it, I'm excited about it. So did I miss anything on my list? And before you say yes, there's some things I do in January. I did not forget these. One, I have a quarterly cadence when I review my budget versus my actual spending. Um, I just do that once a quarter. So that's gonna be in January. I'm gonna look at trend in spending major expenses for the next five years, you know, car, weddings, furnace, roof, um, look at my go-go budget, all those kind of things um, we'll be evaluating. I'm going to look at my bucket review, rebalancing my buckets, uh, does that make sense? I've left other videos on that. I review the asset performance, do I still like them? I model my plan in Bolden. And I'm got to pay my fourth quarter taxes on January 15th. So that's uh, um, what uh, is happening in January. But did I miss anything on my end of the rear, uh, year review and actions I need to take that are important financially to me? Let me know in the comments. This is Joe out.